Welcome back. We're here at New London Hospital, and joining me now is Vice President of Community Development, Karen Surhide. Hi, Lynn. Hello. It's nice to see you. Great to be here. Thanks. You've got a lot going on with the Newport Health Center right now. Oh, it's very exciting. We're getting a rebuild project underway on the same property where we are now. It's mm -hmm. we're, we're thrilled. Absolutely. That's great. That's a, such a big part of, of Newport, really. Yeah, and it's a big part of New London Hospital. Not everyone realizes that the town of Newport is the largest community in our wide service area. Wow, okay, so it needs it needs a lot of service and a new building. And a new building, <laughs> and a new building. Yes, yes um, we've operated the Newport Health Center from the beginning, which goes back to 1991. Okay. But the building was retrofitted at the time from a food market. Oh, gosh. Yeah, and right. it's been a little bit, you know, patched as time has gone on. Mm -hmm. And the way healthcare is delivered is changing much more of a team-based right. approach. Mm -hmm. So really a different style of building and different kind of rooms are needed. Plus, right. we would like to have some room to grow and expand. Right, it's a nice opportunity to be able to rebuild. Talk about where it's located. Well, where it is is right on Route 11 mm -hmm. in Newport, mm -hmm. and um, maybe this isn't a good health tip, but <laughs> it, it's right across the street from <laughs> McDonald's. From Everybody McDonald's. knows where that is that's, in Newport. It's easy to identify. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to be rebuilding right at the corner of that property. It's right at the corner of uh, Newport Road, uh, Route 11, and um, Elm Street. Okay. Um, and it's a triangular sort of shape, so guess what? The building is going to be triangular. Okay. It'll be two stories, and um, it's 28,000 square feet. Oh, that's big. That's mm -hmm. quite large compared with 16,000 that we have now. So okay. lots of room for kind of really using space well and some expansion of current services and addition of some new services as well. Yeah. Talk about what some of those expanded services might be. Well, we're going to have more room for um, women's health, more room for radiology. Um, we're um, having, even for our staff, sort of right. better areas. Right now, they don't have much in the way of their their break room, so that's going to be improved, a little workout room for them. We'll have a small cafe for both the public and for staff, for healthy eating, of course. And um, we're going to have larger behavioral health space, Great. which is a big need. Um, we hope to be adding something called immediate care, which will allow some extended hours. That's, that's nice. especially good for working people. Yes. And some opportunity to see providers without an appointment. That's great. So that would be helpful to many people. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, I remember when the, our children were young, it always seemed that it was after five that they got sick. And Funny how that happened. And a place like that would be where you could go. That's right. But be able to avoid the emergency room. That's right. Yes, yes. great. Well, how's the building being funded? Um, it's a $9 million project, so it's a wow. pretty big price tag. And while a lot of it will be funded by borrowing, of course, if we can raise money from community members and businesses, that's such a big help to our organization. So we have a capital campaign that we're just kicking off, and our goal is $2.2 million. Uh, I call that a minimum goal. Um, it would be great if we could raise more than that. So we're just getting underway. And um, of course, we would like broad participation. Small gifts will be as important to us if we get enough of them mm -hmm. as the larger gifts. Yeah. So we're looking for participation from throughout our service area, Newport, New London. Um, we're talking with foundations that might have an interest right. as well. Absolutely, that's wonderful. So if anyone was interested in donating to the project, they could get in touch with you. Absolutely, contact me, I'd be happy to talk Great. with you. Good, and then when's it starting? When are you going to begin? Well, um, there are a few little phases. We've just gotten um, approval from the town of Newport Planning Board with a few contingencies Yay. that we'll be able to meet. So that's good news. Um, we're going to do something that everyone is looking forward to, which is to take down a part of an existing building. There's an empty bowling alley that some sure. people will know. Yes. So we'll take that down probably in September, which will create a little more elbow room for us yes. to do the work for the project. And then groundbreaking on the new facility we hope will be in October so Wonderful. we can get started before winter. And it'll take about 12 months to build, and then we'll move everyone into the new 
building and um, empty out the old building, take that down. So we don't really expect interruption in service. That's awesome. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you so much. That's such a big part of the new London Hospital family, the it's Newport Health Center. It's very important to our organization, to the Newport community, and we're thrilled to have the opportunity to do it. Thanks for letting me talk about oh, it. Oh, you're welcome. Good luck. We'll check in next year and see, go see I'll what it looks like. I'll give you an update. Like. Okay. Thanks. Take care. Thanks.